number 56, give the total number of electrons, the number of valence electrons, and identify the element with each electron configuration. So here are four different electron configurations. We should be able to uh, give all of this information up here, total number of electrons, number of valence electrons, and the identity. Now, to answer this one, it's going to help to have the uh, periodic table that shows electron configurations. I've put this on uh, La Lima in the periodic tables folder in the resources. And, and this one's very useful because uh, it, you can look at it and, and see the electron configuration of any, any element up there. And, and as you read an electron configuration, you can follow along, along and figure which element, element it's at. So, so, so uh, we should figure out all of this, all this information. First of all, let's just maybe uh, cop, copy and paste A. So let's take this and put it over here and blow it up a little bit. All right, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Looking at the periodic table here, you see it has little sections, the 1s section. So the, the, that's it gets us through here. And then the 2s section gets us through here, here. And then uh, the, the 2p, uh, you know, 2p6, that gets us uh, through the 2ps. Okay, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then 3s2, that, that's on the third row, 3s2, that gets us through there, or one, two. And, and then finally, 3p6. So 3p, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are ending at argon. This is the electron condition of, 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 of argon. And you can, and you can count up all of, all of the electrons here. Okay, okay, that's going to be 2 plus, plus is 4 plus, plus 6 is 10 plus, plus is 12 plus 6 is 6 is 18. Or you could just look at the atomic number of argon, 18. So 18 total electrons. 18 total uh, electrons. Now what the valence electrons are... are the highest... Uh, energy level electrons and and by energy level I'm, I'm, we're talking about uh, these guys right here so energy level one energy level uh, two or energy level uh, three and I need a different highlighter color let me find how about this little one energy level no not that one how about orange and energy level three and it looks like energy level three are is the highest energy level that the electrons occupy. It occupies orbitals in the third energy level. And how many electrons are in the third energy level? So these guys right here are in the third energy level. Those are the valence electrons. You can count them, count them up. There's two, two plus is eight, eight valence electrons. Let's um, um let's do uh, the the other one there. So that's uh, uh you know here we did A. Let's let's do B. So, so let's copy this over. Oops, copy. Oops, no. I'll get it. There we go. Copy it. So let's blow that up a little bit. Okay. Now, 
Uh, let, let's let's scroll this scroll this up. Okay, so using this table again, uh, we're going to end up in. Hey, we can do it quickly because we we know we're going to end up <clears throat> right here. 3d7, 3d7. So uh, the, the, the d's, the, the, this is the block. So 3, 4d, 4d, 5d, C, and this is, this is 3. We're going to end up, end up. The last last part is 3d, 3d7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6. So that's cobalt. Okay. Cobalt. Now you can do it the hard way. You can count up all the electrons. Two plus two is four plus six is 10. Or you can just look, you know, cobalt has 27 electrons in the neutral atom. 27 electrons in the, in the neutral atom. So we'll say 27 total electrons. All right, now look for the highest energy level again. So you got energy level uh, one, energy level two, energy level uh, three, and, and then uh, right there is three, and then also over there is three, and then energy level four. Okay, energy level four is, is the highest energy level, and there are two electrons in energy level four, so I'm gonna put two valence electrons or cobalt cobalt okay does uh, uh d and, and and how about we'll do one one more d okay the the last last one so let's copy and paste paste that copy paste Oh, no, no, I don't want to. I want to paste the rest of it. So, still figuring out my iPad. Copy, paste. And let's blow that up. Okay, now this one gives us the the noble gas. Um, or, or you can't see it. So this one gives us the 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 noble gas electron configuration. But still, you, you end up with five p two. 5p2, and that tells you which element uh, it is because uh, that's where you end. So it ends in the p's. So this is the p block. Okay, 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, and then p's always come in six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two. This is the element tin, Sn for the Latin stannum. That's tin. So the so this is the element tin. Don't get uh, confused by that. That's just you know krypton. Krypton just uh, uh, you know that that's that's just short for for lots of electron electron configuration. It didn't write out write out. Okay, but this this whole thing is the is the electron configuration for tin. Now how many total electron electrons are in tin? Well, fifty. Fifty. So fifty total uh, electrons. And then how many valence electrons as well? Um, what, what comes in krypton, you know, is, is earlier energy levels, okay? So if you look at krypton, to get to krypton, that's energy level one, two, two, three, three, four, three, four. Okay, but then after krypton, you get into five, four, five. So it looks like energy level five is the highest energy level and how many electrons are in there two plus two it is four electrons it's an energy level five so it's four valence uh, electrons